One in five people who bought goods across EU borders encountered problems, but only 5% took their cases to what's called an alternative dispute resolution scheme, and less than one in ten businesses have used one. MEPs want an EU-wide scheme to improve cross-border trade and make disputes easier to resolve, especially online. What we hope that will be the result of it is that more people will buy abroad, more people will sell abroad, that the internal market will be reinforced and that the um, digital single market will function properly. After the scandal at Barclays and almost certainly other banks in which dealers sought to influence the interbank lending rate, MEPs are demanding stiffer penalties. The Commission wants to harmonise punishments for market abuse. MEPs want five-year jail terms for the most serious offences. Minimum sentences, for instance, is something which is up to the judge, absolutely. But what we can do is to put a sort of, you know, under uh, underlying uh, uh, limit that it should be at least that. Where is the money? Do you want to tell you where is the money? Where is the money? <laughs> it's in the ocean, here. <laughs> We've heard a lot of negative news about Greece since the debt crisis began. Now an Austrian filmmaker has produced a documentary which has been shown to MEPs to prove there's still a positive side to the country. It shows a different um, picture of Greece. It's blooming. It is a lot of potential, great people um, and great cooking. This is there as well. <laughs> we always get information how bad things are, what doesn't work, what, what is not really happening like it's planned and so on. And now we see the other side. We see blooming Greece. Yeah, that's something different and that's very important to see as well.